Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and today we are going to be continuing with our discussion on projection of planes. Well, the object that I have picked up today is a semicircular plate having negligible thickness. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. It goes like this. A semicircular plate of 60 mm diameter has its straight edge in the VP and inclined at 45 degrees to the HP. Okay. Surface of the plate makes an angle of 30 degrees with the VP, draw its projections. All right, so the object in this case obviously is a semicircular plate. Okay, its diameter is 60 millimeters. Now, there are conditions given in the problem. The first condition is this straight edge in the VP. Let me just underline this straight edge in the VP. Okay, straight edge in the VP. So let me just write it down. Apart from that, the surface, which is extremely important, makes an angle of 30 degrees with the VP. Okay, with the VP, phi. Who makes an angle surface so phi surface is equal to 30 degrees now the straight edge which is in the vp is also inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the hp so any sort of inclination with respect to hp is uh, denoted by theta and theta for straight edge so theta straight edge is equal to 45 degrees so we've got all the conditions worked out now as far as the solution to this problem is concerned i've divided it into two parts Part one is where I'll be giving you a demonstration as to how the object has been really kept with respect to HP and VP. What shall be your initial assumption for step number one? Okay, whether you should begin with front view or you should begin with top view. All these sorts of things are going to be discussed in part one. And part two is where we're going to draw as usual. All right, guys, this in front of us is what you call a semicircular plate having negligible thickness. So what are the conditions given in the problem? The first condition is that the surface of this plate makes an angle of 30 degrees with the VP. Something like this, 30 degrees with the vertical plane. So what shall be our initial assumption? We are going to slam this entire surface onto the vertical plane and then we've got to think from where can you see the true shape of this surface? True shape of this surface. Answer is pretty obvious. It can only be seen from the front. And hence, in step number one, we have to begin by making the front view first and then its top view is going to be made. So this was all about step number one. In step two, what we are going to do is this. Incline the surface as we usually do. Okay, then accordingly, its top view and front view are going to be made. And in step three, we'll do this. Okay, so this edge over here makes a certain angle with the horizontal plane. Okay, this angle over here is 45 degrees. All right, so this edge apart from being in the VP also makes a certain angle with the HP that is equal to 45 degrees. So let me reverse this. This is step number three. Step number two, okay. Step number three, 45 degree angle. The edge is making 45 degree angle with XY line or the HP. Okay. This is step number two. Surface. This surface over here makes an angle of 30 degree with the VP. And in step number one, we assumed this. This entire surface was resting on the vertical plane. Okay. Step one, step two, step three. Three, two, one. That's it. Okay guys, now that you've seen the demonstration, we'll now go ahead with the orthographic projection of this particular case. So initially we're assuming that this entire surface is sticking on the vertical plane, is resting on the vertical plane, and you've got to think about from where you can see the true shape. Obviously it's the front. Okay, hence we are beginning by making the front view. Okay, this is the semicircular plate divided into four parts. Now let me name these points, okay, starting from here. This is going to be A, B, C, D, E, all with a dash, okay, since it's a front view. Now, let us try to take a look at this object from the top. And this is exactly what you're going to see, okay? So, this would appear, this portion, this curved portion would appear as a line, okay, when you look at this from the top, okay, something of this sort. This is going to be A, comma E, and over here we will have D, comma B, and over here we'll have C, something of this sort. Let me draw a line. Now, let's go ahead with step number two. And in this step, we usually incline the surface. Surface is inclined to VP. All right. And the angle that the surface makes with the VP is 30 degrees. So what I'll do is this line over here is the top view. Okay. I'll recreate this top view over here at an angle of 30 degrees, something like this. Let me make this something like this. Okay. Okay. So this A comma E is still in the VP. Okay. You can clearly see that this A comma E is still in contact with the XY line. You can also say that is in contact with the vertical plane. All right. Now we want to make these points D comma B and C over here. Also steps are pretty easy. Keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. Okay. With that much amount as the radii. And then with this A comma E as the center, put an arc 
and this is going to be point D comma B. Similarly, point C can be located over here. This is going to be point C. Now let's try to take a look at this object from the front and this is exactly how it looks. Okay. And now let's have the intersection points. Okay. Suppose we want point C. So this is the vertical for C. Okay. And this is the horizontal for C. So this over here is the intersection points. Similarly, you can work out the remaining points. So this is how exactly it looks. Now with the help of a smooth curve, I'm going to be joining all these points. Okay. Something of this sort. All right. Now, as far as step three is concerned, we have to incline the edge. Now guys, you can clearly see that this edge over here, if I can show you this edge over here is making at a certain angle 90 degrees. Okay. This edge 90 degrees. We have to keep it at an angle of 45 degrees with reference to the XY line, or you can also say with reference to the horizontal plane. So right now, let me make a point over here and let me draw a line at an angle of 45 degrees. Okay. So somewhere along this line, we are going to have this edge. So let me make a point randomly. Let me make a point a over here. Okay. Let me do that a dash in fact. So keep one leg of your compass here at a dash other leg at e dash and with that much amount as the radii and then again with a dash as the center put an arc this is going to be point e dash now it may get a bit trickier so watch very carefully so this point over here let me let me use a different color for this so i'm going to be making this point the center point okay center point will be somewhere here okay somewhere here all right done what else so we have to make this point also so for making this point you need to keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here, then with this as the center put an arc. So this is going to be that point somewhere here approximately. And similarly, you can make this point also. This would be somewhere here. And from all these points, you can see that there is a line at an angle of 90 degrees from all these points. Okay. With respect to this line over here. So what we need to do is with respect to this line, we need to draw three lines. This, this and this. Something like this. All right. Something of this sort. And then if you want point D, what you need to do is you need to keep one leg over here, other leg over here. And with that much as the radii, you have to take this as the center and put an arc. Simply, this is going to be point D. This is going to be point C. This is going to be point B. It's pretty easy. And join all of this with the help of a smooth curve and try to take a look now from the top. Okay. Let me bring the projector lines downwards. Let me bring the projector lines from the left to the right. And these are the intersection points. Suppose we want point A. This is the vertical for A and this is the horizontal for A. So this is going to be point A. Similarly, if you want point B, so this is the vertical for B. This is the horizontal for B. This is B. Where is C then? This is the horizontal for C. All right. This is the vertical for C. Okay. Similarly, you're going to have point D. This is the line for point D. Where is the vertical for D? This is the vertical for T. This is going to be point D. Where is E then? This is the horizontal for E and this is the vertical for E. That's pointy. Let me write them down. Okay. And when you join all of them in proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve, this is exactly what you get. Finally, that's it. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below, I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering graphics or engineering drawing for that matter, then do recommend and share this piece of information with your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll be back again with some more lectures on engineering graphics, engineering drawing or engineering mechanics. Uh, until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep drawing.